<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Freaky Fridays. This is Jackie Lee, your local real estate expert in San Gabriel Valley. Today we have an amazing guest, a 19 year veteran in the industry, a renowned coach, uh, all through Southern California and beyond. Felix Hong, Felix the coach, my personal mentor as well. So excited to have you. Thank you for having me. I <laughs> don't know if I really want to talk about this topic. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. <laughs> the show is called Freaking Friday. Okay, okay, okay. All so right. share with me, since you've, you've seen so many transactions, hundreds upon hundreds, I'm sure you've encountered something worthwhile to share with everyone yeah so when you asked me to uh, interview for your podcast you know I thought about one experience it's actually the first listing I took mm. so the, I, I was licensed in Virginia originally in 2004 so that was this was um, this happened April 2004 and a friend of mine um, he said, I'll let you sell my house. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, at his house and we were just hanging out, playing uh, the Xbox and playing some Halo. And he stopped and he said, hey, I got to tell you something about the house. And I just thought, whatever, we'll, we'll overcome it. You know, I, I think it smells like dog. Um, <laughs> I think it needs to be repainted. But we're good at fixing things up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. resolve, we'll overcome these problems. Yeah. No, no problem, no problem. But then he looks really serious and concerned, and he says, "No, it, it's not none of that. We're going to repaint the house. We're we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we we get the the dog dander out of the house. It's something more serious." Mm. And so my guess was, did someone die on the property? Mm -hmm. And his face dropped, and I'm thinking, did someone die? And he said, "No, no, no one died." I said, "Then what is it?" And he looks at me really serious, and he says. It's haunted. <laughs> so then I obviously just started laughing because I, I really didn't believe him. Mm -hmm. I said, no, uh, I'm a ghost expert. I'm a paranormal hunter. I, I saw a ghost when I was in the army. This is not haunted. I don't feel anything. This is, this is nothing. So then he started going through all the weird stuff that happened in the house. He talked about all the cabinets being open when he got home sometimes. No one else has the key to his house. He, he started talking to me about uh, losing keys and wallets and then they would end up in the weirdest places like in the, uh, the, the freezer. He started telling me how on his bookshelf he would push all the books to the back of the bookshelf and they would, he would come home and all the books were flush to the front of the bookshelf and, and just a lot of weird things yeah. and, and things would always go missing. And uh, I said, it's your wife, it's your family. Someone had the key, the former owner. I was just explaining everything mm -hmm. with logic and science. I said, this is not a ghost. This is, it's not haunted. Mm -hmm. This is nothing. And then it got a little creepy. He said, um, sometimes we hear a little girl laughing. <laughs> and, you know, during the day, no one's going to think of anything. We hear the little girl laughing 10 o'clock at night, midnight, 2 in the morning, same laugh. Oh, man. And then beyond that, um, he also said, you know, and then sometimes we'll, we'll feel a push in our back while we're walking down the stairs. Like there's someone mischievous pushing us down the stairs. We've literally fallen down the stairs. And then we hear the laugh. Oh, and I still said, I think you're hearing things. Mm -hmm. I think you're seeing things. I don't believe you. At the time in the state or the Commonwealth of Virginia, they don't believe in apparitions. So I said, we don't have anything to disclose because mm -hmm. the state does not believe in ghosts and apparitions. Mm -hmm. And if I also said, if I were to disclose that, you could sue me because I would stigmatize your house and I would make you lose value in your house. Yep. So I said, no, no harm, no foul, no problem. I'll handle it. I don't think the spirit really liked that I didn't believe he or she it existed. Uh -huh. So uh, we went back to playing Halo and then out of the right corner of my eye, something moved. But he has a really big 70 pound pit bull. So I just thought it was the dog. Then a couple minutes later, we turn over to take a break and go to the bathroom and we look on the floor and right in the center floor was a seashell, a conch shell that was on the top shelf it now somehow is now in the middle of the ground 
And that was the thing that moved in the corner of my eye. He did not move, no one came home, the dog could not go on the shelf and put it on the ground. Mm -hmm. And that's when I said, what the F? I, I now believe you, I, I, I believe you. And that's when like the hairs stood up on my arms. That's when I hesitated to take the listing. That's, that's when all of these emotions came up. Mm -hmm. And then after that point, um, nothing else happened. So I said, okay, whatever. I, I, I felt a little weird going into the house myself, but mm -hmm. other than that, it was fine. Then the Sunday before we listed the house, something really odd happened also. The uh, middle floor of the three-story townhouse started leaking water from the ceiling. And so all I told him was, well, we got to disclose that mm -hmm. and we have to repair it yeah. and let them know we fixed it. So he cut four big hole, drywall holes out of the ceiling and he told me, Felix, you got to come over and see this. There's no water source. And I said, well, I don't know what you mean by that. I'll come over. I came over, I took the flashlight, I got on a ladder and he said, see all those pipes, they're drip dry. I said, what do you mean? Felix, these two five pound buckets of water that came from the ceiling, it came from nowhere. There's no water source. It's like demonic rain coming from the ceiling. Like there's no water source. Like I, I swear, like this happened. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, please, please, please. I still don't believe you. I mean, I sort of do, but I don't. Can you just go ahead and, and put something on all of the pipes and, and all of the, the, the seals of the pipes? Um, because I really still want to believe that mm -hmm. there was a pipe leaking here. He said, okay, but he said it just started and then just stopped. We didn't do anything to really fix it. Okay. So we patch it up. We disclosed that uh, there was a pipe leak and we cut out the drywall. And we sold the house. The, the dryer also blew up and caught on fire and blew up during the transaction when it was in escrow. Um, other than that, yeah, it was a really weird first listing. Man, what do we do? Do we carry stage? <laughs> houses? Oh. Uh, I mean, I would sage myself probably coming yeah. out of a weird house. Probably, I mean, I keep it at oh home, but. God. Uh, I mean, I've sold houses that people have died in. I've sold mm -hmm. murder-suicide houses. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when you sell real estate long enough, you, you sort of see everything. But that's <sighs> not something I really wanted to see on my first listing transaction. Yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I, I don't know if I can recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> true, true story. Well, so, so this happened in Virginia. So remember in Virginia, different laws, different disclosure laws. And, and so here in California, you would have to disclose if that was the belief of an owner. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So here you would have to disclose, even if you had no proof, you would still have to disclose if you believed it or if the seller believed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But um, not in Virginia. Well, thank you so much for this horrific story, but also a really good tip for those of you out there that are looking for more coaching or great information from Felix. Felix, where can everybody find you? So on Instagram, it's at Felix a coach. I have more horror stories. I've got more ghost stories if you want to hear them also. <laughs> we'll save them for next year. <laughs> thank you, everyone. If you found this information helpful, like, subscribe, or share it with a friend.